politicians, influential people and CCP dissenters. We wear. China does not shy away from using the dirty tactic of honey trapping. China and its espionage network around the globe has only grown manifold since it opened itself to the world in the 1980s. With China steadily becoming a global power, its communist regime has upscaled its evasive surveillance techniques. With the use of modern and at times nasty cyber attacks to using the old and conventional method of honey trapping the aristocrats of a country, China dominates every sphere of this surveillance war. Now, a book with the title Hidden Hand, exposing how the Chinese Communist Party is reshaping the world, has been released and a large excerpt has been published in the Daily Mail and it shows a critical arm of Beijing's surveillance skill set, sexpionage. This is one of China's many espionage weapons and Beijing prefers calling it Merenji, literally translating to, quote-unquote, the beautiful person plan. In the book, the authors Clive Hamilton and Marek Ulberg write about how the Chinese Communist Party and its secret agents lure the foreign politicians and top bureaucrats for divulging classified information by engaging beautiful ladies working for Chinese intelligence as bait. Using an attractive person to snare a target to extract classified information pertains to a term called honey trap, which heavily features in popular culture, especially in spy genre movies like James Bond. One of the prominent stories shared in the book is of Ian Clement, who was Boris Johnson's deputy when Johnson was London's mayor in 2008. Clement had attended the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games on an official trip to create contacts and networks to lobby for Britain to host the 2012 Olympics. After an 11-hour trip to China, Clement met a Chinese lady at the bar on the opening night in a hotel and later took her to his hotel room after being smitten by her charm. The former deputy mayor woke up from his sleep in the morning and found that the lady had not only searched his room thoroughly but also downloaded all the information from his BlackBerry phone. He knew then that the woman was no ordinary socialite but an agent of the Chinese intelligence service. Clement came out with the confession that he possibly was drugged. In the 1990s, the MI5 published a manual for British businessmen saying, and I quote, be especially alert for flattery and overgenerous hospitality. However, three decades on, this advice continues to hold true if Clement's honey traffic incident is to go by. The book also mentions another incident involving an FBI employee named Joey Chun. The said officer was convicted by the FBI of supplying critical surveillance information about the Bureau's operations to Chinese agents in exchange for free international travel and visits to prostitutes. According to the Justice Department, in 2011, Chen met with a Chinese official during an overseas trip who asked him about his work with the FBI. Chen discussed sensitive information with the official, including telling him the identity of an FBI special agent. The prosecutors during the trial had called out Chen for a duplicitous betrayal of the FBI, which had employed him in its New York field office since 1997. Chen was sentenced to prison in 2017 for providing a Chinese operative an FBI organizational chart and photographs related to surveillance technologies in the year 2013. The book reveals the case of one US citizen named Duffy Shriver, who was slowly turned into a CCP mole to infiltrate into the FBI. The report mentions that during a summer study program, Shriver fell in love with China and later moved to Shanghai, where he got paid a hefty amount to write short papers on trade relations. Over time, friendships were built and Shriver was offered more money. Then he was encouraged to seek employment in the US State Department or the CIA and was paid large sums for it. Shriva underwent weeks of interviews for a CIA position with the National Clandestine Service, but the agency was aware of his connections to Chinese intelligence and he was caught red-handed. At his sentencing hearing after being caught, Shriva confessed that things had spiraled out of control and he admitted to being motivated by greed. 
A YouTuber named Winston Sturzel, who routinely uploads videos on his channel to showcase the dark realities of China in a new video, has mentioned how the CCP has been trying to ensnare him. Winston shows his WeChat account where a Chinese girl reportedly sent him lewd and unsolicited pictures to honey trap him. The Chinese lady repeatedly tried to meet him at a hotel or his home for an interview. In the video, Winston mentioned that ever since he moved to Los Angeles from China, he has seen a number of cyber attacks against him. The intricate espionage web of honey trap and providing large sums of money to buy off people is undertaken by Xi Jinping's magic weapon, the United Front. The United Front undertakes a heavily resourced campaign to acquire sensitive foreign technologies and intellectual property through the secret agents who masquerade as students and workers that come to a foreign country to study and work. Not surprisingly, universities in the West are the target of intensive influence efforts by the CCP. Since 2007, China's People's Liberation Army has sent more than 2,500 military scientists and engineers to study abroad in the process of developing research relationships with hundreds of top scientists across the globe. Most of these scientists claim to be from the Zhengzhou Information Science and Technology Institute, which, judging by the number of publications in which it's cited, is one of the world's leading centers of computer science and communications engineering. However, Daily Mail, in a sensational report, has said that the Zhengzhou Information Science and Technology Institute does not actually exist. The institute has no website, no phone number, and no buildings. It does have a post office in Henan province's capital city, Jingzhou, but that's about it. The institute is a big cover-up for the PLA's Information Engineering University, a university that trains China's elite military hackers and signals intelligence officers. Simply put, the United Front is a coalition of groups and individuals working towards the CCP's common goals against its enemies to pin them down. These operations are mostly covert and deceptive, and they spread well beyond China's borders. Honey trapping is merely a small part of it, and most of the incidents do not ever see the light of day because governments fear it might put a dent on their surveillance unit's credibility. These Chinese operatives are on a mission to infiltrate and influence almost every aspect of a foreign country's life, from politics to business to the media and everything in between.